Good evening, everyone. It's once again Ted the Speed Learner, and you're probably asking yourself, what the heck is an M3U file? Well, I'm going to tell you about that in a second. But first of all, I'm probably one of the only YouTube channels that you will see on the platform right now that doesn't go, oh, please, please, subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the like button. You know why I'll never do that? Because even though it's nice when you guys do that and I encourage you to subscribe to me and I encourage you to hit the like button it's not going to get my video shared oh no I know nobody's ever told you this but it's true what does get your video shared is two things number one watch the video all the way through so we can increase the watch time of the video okay and number two uh, leave me some nice comments in the comments section below why do these things work? Because YouTube is trying to determine whether my videos keep you guys on their platform. And there are only two ways they can determine that, and I just told you what they were. All right, so let's go on here. Uh, I have published five Kindle books. If you're interested in any of them, leave me a comment in the comment section below, and I will send you a link to at least one of those books, and you can find the other four from that link. All right. So what is an M3U file and why do you need to know? Well, in a previous video I discussed the Moving Picture Experts Group. Their file format had three layers. The third layer is called the Audio Layer 3. This is why you'll see the familiar MP3 file extension. But what if you see a file extension called an M3U? Well, let's discuss that. The letter U in the M3U file format is the first letter of another acronym, believe it or not, and that acronym is the URL acronym. Well, what does that acronym stand for? Well, I'm going to present that in a future video. I actually talked about it once before, but I'm going to present it again. So when you see the acronym or file format M3U, remind yourself that the entire acronym is MP3 URL. Now, if you guys are getting confused here, let me fix that right now. So you see the file M3U, but really you should be looking at MP3. Whoops. That's not going to work. MPR, MP3. All right. And URL. So that, so when you see this, you really should be seeing this. But this is too long, so that's why they condensed it. All right. Now this file format represents a playlist file format. Okay, that would be like a playlist of songs or a playlist of music videos or even a playlist of videos okay so what is the history of the m3u file format well we have to know a couple of names the first name is Justin Frankie I'll write his name down Whoops. Again, I misspelled his name. Oh, uh, I sure misspelled that, too. Okay, so we have Justin Frankie, that's one of them, and we have Dimitri Bold, Boldrev, I guess, Boldrev. That's the best, best I can come up with. If I'm wrong with these pronunciations, feel free to correct me. Alright, so these two gentlemen right here were working with a company called Nullsoft, and they helped create a computer application called Winamp. W-I-N-A-M-P. 
These files did not contain any audio or video media. Instead, what they contained, uh, they had a list of URLs that showed a computer where audio and video files could be located. Alright, so that means that these were playlist files. But a problem developed. That's because these particular uh, playlist files could not read Unicode characters. And I know I need to make a video about Unicode characters, but I'll make that in, in another day. So they had a problem telling computers where to go to find certain videos and audio files. Eventually this problem was corrected and now M3U files are called M3U8. The number 88 is derived from the acronym UTF-8. And I'll explain UTF-8 in a future video. Alright, so I've got an article, a web article. There's, there is a link to it in the description box of this video below. Feel free to read it and you can learn more about the M3U file. Alright, I will tell you more in a future video, so I'd like for you to stay tuned.